Kate dead. Rachel dead. Enter the Vortex Club. Look at these entitled assholes. They don't give a shit about anybody. If that tornado came right now, I would just sit here and watch for a while. But I have to make sure Chloe doesn't go on her own rampage. <sighs> I hate feeling this way. It's dark and angry. Zachary, if you mess with Julia, I will kick your balls on a loop. I feel selfish going to a party. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful so he doesn't pull in revenge porn or something. You did the worst to my dad. Yes, but can you do no more? I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? Here's the queen bee. Real fucking bee. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, in Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I don't blame you, Victoria, but you know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. More than stupid, it's mean, hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Max, I saw Kate Marsh die. I swear it didn't feel real to me. I kept thinking, did I cause this? Did I? I felt like shit ever since. I believe you, Victoria, but I don't understand you. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. For what, I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. Is that what you were trying to tell Mr. Jefferson last night? Uh, you saw me talking to him? Saw and heard. We were just talking about how excited he is for the Everyday Heroes contest. That doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. I hope you win fair. We'll see. And Max, I know you don't like me either, so it's not like we have to be friends or anything. Why the hell not? We're both into art and photography. We're both kind of weird and pretentious. So if we hung out with our attitude, we'd get along fine. I almost asked you to hang out. You said my photos were abaddon Then I remembered who I was. You should have asked me. It would have been cool to compare photo notes. Maybe we're too much alike. You might be right. Well, Max Caulfield, there's still time for you to get in the Vortex Club. I actually hope so, Victoria. Why do you say it like that? Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her some risk dark. What? Nice try, Max, but I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. 
and I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. I hope she's okay. Chips and crackers. Spare no expense, Vortex Club. So the Vortex VIPs get real. That son of a bitch is not here. Where are you, Nathan? I better Taylor really shows her Vortex Club spirit. Oh my god. Max, seriously? What are you doing here? Taylor! Have you seen Nathan yet? If I did, it's none of your business. This is a VIP area, so you should get back to the bleachers. Just keep on dancing for Victoria. And stay away from Nathan. Like, thanks for your concern. I'm not giving you dance lessons. Go. Oh, oh. Give me a break. She's wasted and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns at Blackwell. She's wasted and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns at Blackwell. Surprise, Hayden is trash. He would dose his own drink first before any. Oh, hey, Max. I think you'd actually come to the Well, I didn't think anybody would come to the party after Hayden was over here. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dank OG butts, so I can barely see you. Are these hotties next to me? Well, I guess. No. I want to find Nathan. Me too! He's supposed to be bringing some special party favors. I hope at the party you actually planned a party at the party. Not this week. So has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or you can sit down and take a quick hit. What about Victoria? Yeah, go ask her yourself. I would, but like I said, I'm fucking ripped. Maybe you better take it easy tonight. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. Is that you, Max? You look all fuzzy. Wow, I'm big. Surprise, Hayden is trashed. Is that you, Max? You look all fuzzy. Wow, I'm big. Oh good, Chloe's here. 
Well, she obviously didn't find Nathan. That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. No, Logan, you are not getting any action tonight. Or even... Can I talk to you for a second? Max, all right. I'll talk after you shake that booty for me. Oh, uh, no. Have you seen Nathan? I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? Why? Business. You should talk to his dad then. Bro has got more money than God, and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the cheap seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen Nathan. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. Why don't you ever want to see me, Max? You're so cute, and we never really talk. Talk about what? The next Bigfoots game. We could go out to the field. I can show you some moves. Give you a touchdown. Logan, don't make me hurt. Damn. That was way more exciting than a dance. Catch you later, Max. Ugh, can't talk now, Max. You actually made me think. Ugh, can't talk now, Max. You actually made me think. Thanks, Max. I guess I'll be on my toes. Thanks, Max. I guess I'll be on my toes. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> are you both okay? You look like you're on a... Uh, mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but... I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay. Everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Mr. Jefferson, you're sexy. You are so hot. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Oh my god! Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. <laughs> she was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Oh, 
Christ. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. You have to be quiet. We could die, okay? Oh. 